Our guest on this episode is Ifai Charles Bosa, a Lagos-based Afrobeat artist. He has gained a lot of traction in the West African music scene by pushing the Afro reggae sound with Afrobeat culture. With singles like Caribbean Girl, Beautiful featuring Ketchup, Rotate, Confidential Love, Flanger featuring Zlatan, and to mention just a few, let's make welcome a young man known for creating versatile melodies and even catchier hooks, Cesar Miller. <laughs> Welcome to Tea Time, Caesar. Thank you for having me. Mm. Great. First, nice how was your Christmas celebration there? I don't used to celebrate Christmas. Wow. That's why you just said Christmas. You saw it. Okay. All right. All right. So you don't celebrate Christmas, but what does Christmas mean to you? I mean, it's a it's a it's a time of joy. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? And I feel like it's time for family. You know, so that's why it's really important to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. Uh, that's the time that a lot of people used to, you know, families gather around and have stuff to eat, yeah. you know, um, talk about how the year went and stuff like that. But for me, I've been I've been on the streets for, <laughs> for the longest like ever. ever. <laughs> so the streets is my family. I've always felt like, you know, as long as I'm in Nigeria, I'm home. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So um, I don't really have to label it anything or have a reason to celebrate anything. I'm always mm -hmm. celebrating life. Oh, every day is a celebration. Trust mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. So, what's going on with you? Like, I, I know you have a lot of singles, but you say you don't. But I saw a lot that you <laughs> like. So, what is going on with Cesar Mili? Um, as an artist, I'm trying to be better. Do you understand? And um, I've been putting in a lot of work, even low key and on the ground. Um, so. Uh, I have a lot of stuff coming out in the new year, mm -hmm. and um, I'm also doing a, 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 a tour in a boat party. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm when showing this happening? luxurious uh, all-white yacht party. When is that happening? On the 2nd of January. Okay. okay. I, I think so. I'm, I'm not on the set that day, so I'm awesome. What time is it? Party. What time? <laughs> it's like 6, 6, 6 p.m. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm uh, definitely yeah, not when, when, We're all not on this set. <laughs> <laughs> So please pass, <laughs> pass the ticket to cross. All right, now okay. this, this is it. As a side of you, not too many people are privy to know. I mean, besides you being an artist slash your songwriter, your songwriter, your music producer. Mm -hmm. Now I want to ask you: are there, Do you sign like an NDA when you get to write songs song. for other artists, or it's an outright payoff and uh, you don't get any credit for it? I mean, like it's a shitty situation okay you know the the industry doesn't have that much structure yet to um, do, do run business as it's supposed to be so sometimes you find yourself writing songs because you love you have love for people mm -hmm. there's big artists really big artists that I work Can you with mention a few? Uh, I mean some of them don't like their names. <laughs> That's yeah, such yeah, a yeah, big yeah. thing. Uh, but exactly. Okay, aside from the ones who don't like, can you mention like two? The ones who don't mind. Um, yeah, I've, I've, I've worked with people like Omaomi, um, Shei Shei. Mm. Okay. Um, I've been privileged to work with uh, Tiwa. You know when you say work with, it's different from writing for. So I mean, it's work. Yeah. Okay. It's work at the end of the day, mm -hmm. you know. And and when when you say you're writing, it, sometimes it, it's not just oh I, I go make this music and I just give it to person they just for singing. We yeah. are, we're in we're in the studio together. We uh, create okay. together. We come up with melodies so you together. Mm -hmm. You know. So m most m most times it's just even co-writing because mm -hmm. okay. people always have an input. Yeah. It's their music at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So that's why I. Personally, I don't even like to take credit for anything. I'm just having fun. Just take the money. All right. So um, <laughs> there was this um, thing going around back then when soccer dropped, and a lot of people thought you were signed to Starboy. So, uh, what's your relationship with Whiskey? Mm. This has been. This is my brother now. We've been family for years. Do you understand? So when he came to us making Soko, it's just like every other music that we had made over the years. Mm. That one just had to come out at that time. But a lot of um, people would um, say that Whiskey took the credits for that song because at some point people didn't know that Soko had um, you, Spotless, and um, Terry. Terry, and the rest. Yeah, and they thought it was a Whiskey jam. But is that really a Whiskey song? Yeah, so the thing is, when you are, you're privileged to be on a platform with 
artists that are way, way, way ahead your, yeah. mm-hmm. of you, you know. It's, it can be a blessing and a curse, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, at first, people didn't know there were other people on the song, obviously, because Wiz is the giant of Africa. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, not Bonner Boy. Bonner is listening. No, no, no. There's a, we're, we're, all, we're, we're all one. Yeah. Bernard is a giant of Africa. Wiz is, Tewa is, Tewa is. You are the... Giants, and we are, are, you part the, of the, we are the upcoming giants. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> you get me? So, um, when you're on a record like that, it's not easy for you to shine instantly, especially when That's that true. person carries the hook. Mm. That's true. It will be different if Wiz was on a verse or something, mm. then you can know that, oh, there's other guys on the record. But about that. Actually, Don't you think it still boils down to our structure here and how we do things, even with the radio um, stations and the DJs and how they represent songs? Yeah. So you know this is a whiskey song yes, yes. featuring people, but you just play it yeah, as yeah, yeah. whiskey. Yes, I know, I know, which is very, very... Mm-hmm. Terrible because there's so many times when I would even we even go for award shows. Yeah. There's so many awards we're supposed to collect, but we get there and they're like Just whiskey. best collaboration, so called whiskey. Who did he collaborate? So with? I'm actually supposed <laughs> to go and collect that. It's not my award. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is award. Do you understand? So yeah, I feel like it's from the people actually playlisting the song. Yeah. You have to give remember that there are people on it and give them the. Credit. Okay, credit so whiskey has been dragged severally for not giving credit to women. It's due. So, would you say you got enough credits, or you, were you? Did you get financial gain from that song? Are you getting royalties from it, or whiskey is taking everything? I mean, people just like to throw whiz. Oh, uh, personally, I think he's a is a great guy. He hasn't. Really, he's not the type to actually cheat people. I'm getting credit for the record. I mean, unlike some other artists financial that I've worked with. Everything I'm getting everything I deserve from awesome. it, mm. and I'm still getting popularity from it. Do you understand? Yeah. Like a lot of people know us because we were on soccer. Mm. Do you understand? So I mean, it's just we the like to put him on the hot seat. Yeah. Mm. Do you understand? But personally, I'm getting royalties. I'm getting publishing. Do you understand? Mm. And you're still almost famous. Let's talk 2020. <laughs> Scissor Millie 2020. What yeah. What are we expecting? What's in the works for you? Yo, I'm, I'm about to be in everyone's face, man. You should be. I'm about to make a... EP, EP is dropping, right? Trust me. The next time you see me, mm-hmm. you have a boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm inclined <coughs> to answer. But the thing is, you're a very creative person, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, and then you act. Some people don't mm-hmm. know about that part. Yeah, I mean... Crazy, I'm, lovely, cool, brought your leg out now. We, like. are, doing, we are doing free promo for, for them. I mean, <laughs> they should come pay us. Yeah, we have one of them, And on yeah. tea time, we try to embrace whatever is doing great in the entertainment yeah. industry. Yes, yes, yes. And Crazy, mm-hmm. lovely, cool has... It's, I think it's the first Nigerian series on, on Netflix. Netflix. And, and it's and doing amazingly yes, well. Yes. Yes. Chino, yeah, what's yeah, Chinoye was here. Chinoye Chino 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 was on, I think... Um, two days ago. Yeah, two days ago. So, what was it like on that set? Because I know that set ran for almost three months or thereabouts. <sighs> that was the scariest um, time of my life. Wow. You know, because I had to leave somewhere that I had never been. Mm-hmm. But it's not like I haven't seen that type of hustle mm-hmm. before, you know. But the fact that you can't leave when you want to because mm-hmm. you, you're paid to do a job. Yeah. So, we had to go to Nsuka. Uh, we had to leave like regular students, mm. you know. Sometimes it's fun, sometimes other times it's not, you know. But you have to do what you came to do. Um, it was really fun, and I admire every single one that was every single person that was on that set, and also the director mm-hmm. of BML. He's actually a great guy. Um, I haven't seen anyone since that mm-hmm. since that time. I think okay. I was twenty twenty end of twenty seventeen. Yeah, twenty seventeen. Yeah. So yeah. So a lot of people see Caesar as um, an artist, a music writer, a director, an actor. But um, tell us something that people don't know about Caesar, like your personal life. What's your day-to-day life like? Uh, it's it's actually pretty simple. I, I actually thought you were gonna say a lot of people think Caesar is 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 um, proud and cocky. Mm. Uh, no, no, no. I'm, um, <laughs> no, when you say that, when you said that, I was I was thinking that's that what was the next line going because yeah. when I go for interviews, that's what I hear. No, this is not your regular interview. Don't worry. Trust <laughs> me. <laughs> Trust me. So, um, personally, my personal life is very simple because I'm a very happy guy. For people that know me, and I'm like a father to the, my people. Hmm. Do you understand? So, 
Um, I love to have fun. I take care of people. Um, I, I'm just, I'm actually very simple. I'm just a very, the way you see me, that's how I am. Yeah. Yeah. Do you Ah, Omo. <laughs> there are plenty things. Mm, tell us, tell us. I mean, it depends on what the vibe is. If what we, are your if vices? we feel like going uh, skydiving right now, we we'll would do that. If we mm -hmm. feel like, mm -hmm. do you understand? Whatever feels relaxing. What's the craziest thing you've done? What's the craziest thing I've done? I wish we won't talk about that. Yes, 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 yes. It's the end of the year. Omo. Is it, is it cool for CB? No, it's not it's cool. Not cool. It's not cool. Let's it out. Hey, quickly, <laughs> just tell us about your EP that's about to drop. Let's see yeah. Um, yeah, so I have an EP dropping in January. Uh, features the four giants of Africa. Oh, wow. Yeah. And, uh, From what you said earlier, that means Bonaboy, Dildo, Whiskey, Tiwa. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I'm smart. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, um, I mean, that's why I've been working on finishing. After... Um, my interview now. Okay. I'm going for my documentary. I'm releasing a documentary okay. titled Who is Caesar? Okay. So for those that's always asking who Caesar was, you don't. Mm -hmm. I, I have a little answer for them. Great. And um, it's for me next year is music. It's like go time. I'm dropping like five EPs next year oh, awesome. or even more. Because mm. I mean, when you have the music, I feel like people don't know that I can make that much music. Mm. How many songs would you say you have all together? Like a thousand songs. Wow. Wow. I mean, I'm the kind of artist that not just makes my music, I give music to people. To people, so that's it. So your what kind music of music would you say you make and why do you make music? I would say I'm a musician, so there's no particular type of music I make. I can make anything. Mm. So, and, and I'm blessed to have uh, the talent of, of writing. So, if I was to write for a Saudi Arabian artist, whatever their music is, I would do the research and I'll Are you still with Aristocrat? Yeah. All right. I better working with DJ Copy. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> that's my best friend. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Copy. Okay, that's cool. Uh, yeah, you so. have a millionaire, fr a millionaire friend. <laughs> I'm a billionaire's daughter friend. Trust me, Co Copy's our own, Copy's our own woman. Shoot your shot. Though. Ah no no, that's my sister. That's mm. my, that's my, that's mm. my sister. Sister Zoom. Sister. 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 Okay, I think that's how I wrap up this episode of Seed Time. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Aplus TV Africa. You can also watch Seed Time on Arrow to TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my co-anchors Benny Ak and Ifo Luwash, okay, and the entire production team, and of course our guest Sister Billy. Thank, thank you so for much. being here. Thank Thank you for having me. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.